and move, yeah. They have 3D printed this and it has voice recognition. You can tell it to do things like take the ball, go to sleep, wake up, maybe go uh, go give me a beer, you bitch. Certainly not the Uncanny Valley or anything, but uh, cool. Maybe we'll get one of these for the office. There are pieces here, all 3D printed, as you can see. I wonder how this would work if you 3D printed this thing with the uh, titanium that we looked at yesterday. That'd be pretty cool. A lot of components mm -hmm. going on here. Got a bionic bird right here. Um, not many of these out there, but this one is very small. It's only eight grams. It'll fly for uh, eight, minutes, eight, minutes, eight, eight minutes on a 12 minute charge. And you can fly this thing around. It uh, looks like it's got some carbon fiber wings. Keep it nice and light. You can use the app here to control it and fly around. Now they're going to be making a larger version of this. And uh, once they get the larger version, you may be able to get one with some sensors, maybe a camera, who knows? Lots of different applications. But right now you can go ahead and get this one and fly it around. More alcohol, man. It's France. What do you what do you expect? This is a quantum. Now they have developed this. Now, and this device is a mixologist that kind of makes stuff for you and learns. Now the idea here is you get all these different bottles, and if you're doing like a corporate event or something, you have to buy the bottles from them. They have syrups, they have liqueurs, they have spirits, and they have juice. And you can buy one of four different types, and then you throw them all in here. And once you get them all in there, this over here. We'll come up with a large list of all the different stuff that you can drink or your stuff that you can make. So then you come over here and you make your drink. You can do a little customization as well. Let's say I want to, yeah. There we go. Making one of these. Yes, it'd be delicious. You can mess with some of the stuff. I'm not going to mess with anything. But anyway, after that, you uh, put your cup under here, like so. And you can make it up right there. And uh, as it's coming out, it actually will, oh, there we go. Make it, make it even fancier. Oh, look how nice that is. As it's being dispensed, this will spin so that it gets a nice even mix into your cup right there. Pretty fancy. Now you can get these at home and they say that it should be able to, you know, work together and learn what you like. So that way you can say, hey, I, I want this exact drink and I want to add a little bit extra of the, uh, maybe the lemon to hide the uh, alcohol. I don't know. There you go. The technology to serve up an exceptional cocktail. Yes fancy stuff. Uh, one thing I did ask is, hey, can I use my own whiskey or my own juice or whatever? They said, yes, for the home units, you can open these up and put your own stuff in them. So that's really cool. Just for the corporate events, they usually will have it prepackaged and then they have to buy them that way. Pretty cool. Now right, check this out, guys. This is an Android connected mirror and this will work with Wi-Fi. There's very little Wi-Fi here, but the idea is you can have several different profiles set up and then once you get in, you can have totally custom experiences at your mirror while you're doing things. Now, why would you need this? What would you do with this? Well, let's say you're in the mirror and you want to, you know, like find a tutorial on how to tie a bow tie. We well, can bring up a YouTube app, play a tutorial, watch it. Same thing with makeup. You can look at a tutorial on makeup and uh, while you're up here like, hey, I'm putting on my makeup, getting all tarted up to go out on the town. You can do that if you like. Also, you can read your news, check your weather, look at the date and time. I set up different profiles for each person so you can have custom experience for each. Uh, another thing that's cool about this is there's an SDK, so there'll be all sorts of different functionality that you can add to this. I'm curious as to what you guys might want to do in front of your mirror. Uh, you can also, you know, enjoy media, that sort of thing, if you're in a bathtub or just hanging out while you're brushing your teeth, get a toothbrush tutorial, I don't know. Let me know if you guys would use this and uh, let me know how you would use it. And uh, the name of the device here, you can check it out, millaboo.com right there. Mon Potager. This is a service in Lyon and Paris, and this is a way for you to go and virtually farm, but it's actually real. You're doing it on your computer, but it's actually real. So here's how this works. You go onto your computer, and you can select all of the stuff that you want to grow, and you can pick up to 60. I think right, right now there's about 60 different things in there, and you can pick up, you know, some normal stuff, but you can also pick more exotic stuff like purple carrots, delicious purple carrots. So it's not just the basics, it's, you know, you can get a little bit crazy with 60 items. And they'll expand this over time. And then, then after that, some local farmers, there's a local network of farmers, they grow everything for you. And this has been sitting out here for a, a couple of days, but after they finish growing it, you know, you get your vegetables delivered to your door. So you can, you know, grow here, get this there. Very interesting. They're gonna be maybe expanding to Canada in the next few years, and uh, hopefully we can talk them into coming to uh, some select markets in the USA. Because, uh, you know, you nerds need to eat better. Come on, guys.